Hello everyone, if you're new here, my name is Lauren. If not, welcome back. I am a first year medical student. I just wanted to intro the vlog before I start doing lectures today. Today is Tuesday. I don't know what I have against starting vlogs on Monday. I literally didn't start yesterday and then I was like, nah, I don't think I've started a vlog on a Monday in like mm, two months at this point. If you miss my last vlog, I am a mom. <laughs> there is my little baby doing things he's not supposed to be doing. Vaco, stop, get off my laptop. Look at this. It has been near impossible trying to get any work done with him, um, but we are trying. I've had him for like a week, going on a week and a half now. He's the cutest thing ever. I did do a whole vlog dedicated to picking him up and his name and just like the whole background, but this was the surprise big thing life-changing thing that i've been alluding to in a few videos it was him my baby i'm a kitten mom now motherhood is rough but i feel like it suits me you can tell by my crazy hair i literally just woke up showered and pulled my hair out of my pineapple i haven't actually done anything to it yet i'm gonna get started on today's lectures there's four. Oh, jesus how can i have not said this it's exam week Boom! It's exam week every single vlog, isn't it? It is exam week. I'm in my very last block for M1 year. I am in the pulmonary block, which is all about the lungs. So this is the second week of the block and I'm stressed. There are only four weeks in this block. So we have our first two weeks and then midterm on Monday, which is this coming Monday. And then we have the rest of that week and then the last week, and on Friday the last week, is the final. So I am a little stressed, I'm not going to lie. I just want to finish strong and finish my first year and just be done and, like, make it to summer. I am, like, so close to summer that I'm just, like, ready to be on a break. I also have Baco, and having a kitten is a huge distraction. Like, me trying to watch lectures alone, he wants my attention, so he's, like, jumping on my laptop or jumping on things he's not supposed to be jumping on. <laughs> So it's definitely been a big adjustment. I wouldn't change it for the world. He's my whole life now. And he's crazy, he's crazy. I'm gonna start lectures now. It is 9.36 a.m. I do have to go into school today for doctoring and then an ultrasound session. And then after that, I'm getting my COVID booster, finally. Yeah, I've been pushing that off for way too long. So it's time to do that. First lecture today is on intro to pulmonary pathology. So let's get started. This is my current setup. I started playing lectures on my iPad yesterday, and then that way my dual screen is my notes, and then I download the PowerPoint, and then if I copy and paste something from the PowerPoint, it doesn't get all weird if I actually download the PowerPoint instead of copying and pasting from like the preview on Canvas. I also have a little coffee. The kid is over there playing with his little mouse, so hopefully he'll be distracted long enough for me to get some work done and not be disrupted. He literally gave me like three minutes. Three minutes. I am interrupting this weekly vlog to talk about today's sponsor, Cider. I wanted to read from their website so I can speak in their own words. So Cider is a globally minded, social first fashion brand. They have very affordable prices and they talk about how their prices are so affordable because they only make what they know will sell and they have their own kind of system to prevent them from having to jack up the prices to account for something that will not sell. So I thought this was gonna be a really great clothing brand to try out. Thank you, Cider, for reaching out to me and thank you for sponsoring this video. It's funny because I just opened up my package and everything I picked out pretty much matches. I was having some sort of neutral moment. I don't know what was going on. First top is this one. It has this little crisscross in the front. It is so cute. I don't have any top like this. The material is kind of not really sweater-y, but maybe a little sweater-y, but still lightweight enough to wear in the summer. It's also cropped. And let me just show you these pants because these pants are amazing. These pants I am absolutely obsessed with. I love the fit. I love the white and the tan together. This is such a moment. It's funny because I wasn't super sure if I was gonna pick these out and I'm so, so, so happy that I did. And I feel like with this top, it just looks incredible. 
clearly my cat likes it too. <laughs> By the way, I do believe I picked up everything in a size small, aside from the few items that I did not, and I will mention those, but everything else you can assume is a small. This is the next top. It's giving summer. It's super flattering. Like, who am I? It's very, very flattering. The material is also very lightweight. I am loving this color on me, and it also goes really well with the earrings that I picked up from their site, I will do a little close up of those. It's like two hoops that are kind of intertwined. But this is really cute. This is the next top. I don't have anything like this. It has this little gold chain detailing as one of the straps. And then it is one shoulder. I cannot wait for summer to start in a few weeks so I can actually go somewhere and actually have nice clothes to wear when I am going out and let me just throw on this jacket also from cider that i just got i tried to get a variety of things so i could try out a bit of everything it's giving it has like this soft feeling to it it is a quilted bomber jacket so cute i don't have any tan bomber jacket it does have pockets and let me just show what it looks like zipped so i show up to the brunch and I unzip and then there we go so super cute again with the neutral moment okay so next we have another crisscross moment this is a completely different type of crisscross though this is actually a double crisscross and it's very very cute it's different material it's more of like a jersey material it's in this really nice green color and it's super comfortable also the puffer jacket is in large just fyi it's one of the few things that i did not get in small but everything else again is still a small i also got this cropped sherpa jacket in a size large i wouldn't wear it with this top but it's super cute it's kind of color block which i have been obsessed with since color block came back in style let me just zip it and you can wear the collar kind of down or bring it up i am loving this it's definitely getting warmer so it's kind of too warm to wear this now but when fall hits she's coming out of the closet she's coming right out of the closet this is the last thing that i picked up as you probably know if you've been watching any of my videos i cannot resist a hoodie sweatshirt loungewear moment especially because i'm always studying in the library or in my apartment so this is a sweatshirt it says less egos more amigos which is cute it is in a similar green that my last top was in and then it's on this kind of cream white background it is also quilted which i love and adds a bit of extra comfort. I also wanted to say that Cider has on their website that their clothes give you main character energy. And I feel like all of the clothes have been very main character-esque, so that's great, especially that first outfit. That will be the first outfit I wear when I'm free from these exams. So thank you again, Cider, for sponsoring this video. Link will be in the description for you guys to go check Cider out, check their website out, check their Instagram out look at their clothes again great quality and super affordable so now i will get back to the weekly vlog okay guys i <laughs> oh thanks no like i'm actually filming now so i just got home doctoring was fine so doctoring there's usually like five medical students that are m1s plus a physician who's like precepting and gonna give us feedback plus an SP that is a, I always call them simulated patients. That's not correct. They're standardized patients, but they're still actors or actresses that are playing a patient and they're trained and they know things that we're supposed to do and that we're not supposed to do and all that stuff. So usually we have like two patients, two cases, and one student does the history, another student does the physical exam, another student scribes because we often have to write them up afterwards and i usually just try to not <laughs> not do like patient history or do anything crazy just because i don't mind doing patient history like in a room with just me and the patient and like even my preceptor but i just hate doing it in front of a bunch of other students i just feel like i'm like a show and like people are watching me and i had like one bad day where i was really sick and i was forced to do a physical exam 
and I could barely see straight and so my physical exam it might not have seemed as awful as I felt like it was but it just felt like everything I did was wrong I looked really stupid in front of a bunch of people so doctoring like we had today just like triggers me today instead of sitting and just being like anxious the whole time that I'm gonna like get forced to do something and like praying that I don't do anything I decided to volunteer to do history which is probably my strongest thing to do but it's just like the longest thing so i feel like it's kind of something to easily like not want to do just because history could take like 20 minutes but i did history and it went well then we had an ultrasound session where we went over how to take a point of care ultrasound of the lungs and that was fine but i haven't had a full meal today by that session i was just like get on with it i'm tired and hungry now i am home i just received my covid booster wow right it has its own little band-aids that's cute i'm really just praying that i don't get sick because i don't have time for it really like my first shot i don't think i had any symptoms aside from like a sore arm but my second shot i did get sick the pharmacist said if i get symptoms they'll probably start in 12 hours but i'm just like terrified that i will <laughs> Get symptoms and then it'll affect my study schedule because like i said it's exam week and i'm already kind of stressed about this exam so that's the situation i'm gonna go eat right now and watch some castle while i eat and then do the last lecture that i have to do today and then i plan on reviewing four lectures today this is also the first day where vako and i have been apart for this long it's so funny because all he does is things that he's not supposed to be doing like he's not supposed to be on my nightstand and yet where is he on my nightstand yeah we were apart for six hours today which we've never been apart for that long so that was hard wasn't it i don't know why i've been talking for five minutes oh my god also i meant to say this earlier if you guys have any like questions on the kitten and like where he came from or his name or anything like that i'm sure i answered it in the kitten vlog so if you have questions on that go over watch the kitten vlog if i still don't answer the question then like leave the question in the comments but i am trying not to make this a second kitten vlog but it's also very easy when you're like a new pet parent to like literally only want to film your child because they are so precious i'm about to start my last lecture on respiratory infections it's like 9 13 my arm is definitely sore and i definitely am feeling tired so the vaccine's hitting i'm just hoping that i can just get everything done that i want to get done today and then i will take myself straight to bed most bacteria most ammonia that we get we aspirate we micro aspirate all the time and depending on how much you drink last night perhaps a little more macro aspiration could happen and you think about this. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I'm on my way to school, eating some pretzel m &Ms. I haven't been able to find these in months. They're so good. I have four hours of class today. And then we have a lot happening. Mark and I are at the vet. He's very nervous. We've been in the car for a while. Got some food. These are bang bang shrimp tacos and then some calamari from uh, Bonefish. Good afternoon and happy Thursday. So yesterday, Baco and I went to the vet and I went to a doctor's appointment for myself. And then we both were like chilling at the house a little bit and then we went home and we got in at like 11.45 maybe. And I literally came in and we both collapsed. He also got a shot yesterday, so he was just like exhausted. I was exhausted, it was so much driving. And I didn't do any studying yesterday. So this morning, I woke up in distress. <laughs> I was supposed to go to class from 10 to 12 and I just couldn't go because I was just super stressed and feeling behind with the material so i stayed home i reviewed several lectures i'm definitely feeling like the stuff that i'm reviewing i'm really absorbing which is great and i just finished a meeting with one of my friends who was also on a research project with me doing some irb stuff which if you've ever done research the irb stuff is not the super fun stuff but it is necessary i think it's like 120 so I did have some cereal this morning, but I haven't eaten a full meal yet. So I think I'm gonna go eat something. I do have some shrimp tacos left from yesterday. I only ate one and then I was just like 
already full. There was so many shrimp in each taco. So I think I'm gonna go eat those, watch some castle, breathe a little bit, and then get back into hardcore studying. Today is just a total review day. I'm gonna review as many lectures as possible. I've gotten through four so far. And I think there's 21 on the exam, maybe. Sir, sir, please. Please, I like these. Can you stop? We have many toys, so fight those. Great, thanks. Isn't this the cutest little toy ever? I'm kind of a big deal. He doesn't love this toy, but I just think it's so cute and it crinkles. And look at him when he plays with it, he's so cute. Do that. I wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been doing since my last little check-in. Ignore my hive. I don't know what's going on with my face. So I went through eight lectures so far. I didn't go through this one yet, but I went through these two and these, um, not this one yet, today. And I just kind of made this little tracker that I've done before. And it just kind of lets me know where I'm at with understanding the material. So green means I'm good and I feel like I would get like most, if not hopefully all of the questions that will be on the exam on that lecture right. And then yellow means I'm not quite there yet, but if I run out of time and I can't look at it again, maybe I'll get by. And then red means I have no clue and I need to go through it again. I'm gonna do this lecture next which is on thoracic imaging. And it is like a bunch of x-rays with different conditions. I think this one is pneumonia. And us just being able to understand how to read x-rays and try to diagnose a patient from an x-ray. So definitely gonna spend some time doing this. Oh my God, sir, please. <laughs> and then I've also been like writing stuff down, just equations and other just like little notes to just try to understand things a little better. So I feel like studying has been going pretty well today. It's been pretty productive. I'm gonna keep going, but I don't wanna stay up too, too late because I want to wake up early enough tomorrow and start all over again. And I will say good night for now and I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy Friday. It is past the afternoon at this point, it's going on the evening. I have been pretty productive today, just not doing school stuff. So I reviewed my first lecture today and that was pretty short. I have nine more that I would like to do today. If I have to do a couple tomorrow and that's fine. I have scissors in my hand because I wanna cut the fur that's sticking out from under his paws because I think it's helping like the litter track around my apartment and we're struggling with that. That's like the biggest struggle that I've had since having him that I really haven't found a solution to. So when he comes near me, I'm gonna... Baco, I'm gonna sip your paws when you come near me. Yeah, I am.
Happy Saturday. Huh. Yeah, happy Saturday. <laughs> the exam is two days away. I cannot wait to be done. I don't know if I have really emphasized this in the vlog, but I have two weeks left of medical school. Of, sorry, of my first year of medical school. So much more to go. But two weeks left of my first year of medical school. I cannot believe it. I'm just like trying to drag myself to the first year finish line. It's currently, it, oh my God, my laptop's on 1%. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. Oh God, Jesus, Jesus. Many of you guys know this, this panic. It's almost like you feel like if it dies, you've failed and everything will be erased, but it's really not that serious. It just turns off like, Anyways, it's now charging. It is 5.52 p.m., so it's pretty late in the day. So far, I have just been reviewing lectures still, the ones that I didn't finish from yesterday. But I have been struggling to... You need help? Hold on, hold on, I got you. Mom life. I have been struggling to get myself to stay focused today. It might be because I haven't drank a coffee yet. I fell asleep and then I woke up at like maybe 12 or 11. I don't know why my hand is so shaky today. And then <laughs> I just stayed up till like 5 a.m. It was insane. I was watching Castle and then I made some frozen buffalo chicken dip, which is embarrassing. I was eating buffalo chicken dip in my bed under the covers from like, three something to four something just sad honestly just sad and then i started editing a video so when i went to sleep it was starting to get light outside which is you know once again very sad i think that was because of the coffee doesn't matter i'm gonna drink it again today at 6 p.m i'm going off on some sort of tangent now sorry i'm trying to focus but like i already can't focus today Baco's doing crazy things next to me. So aside from drinking coffee, to also help me... I'm telling myself it's fine because the pillowcases were like $8. I also have been the past two, maybe three days watching medical school vlogs on YouTube. Not my own, that's weird. But like other people just trying to feel less alone in the struggle of always having to study and just to feel some sort of motivation. The person that I was watching, let's just do a shout out. I just feel like I'm not subscribed to as many YouTube channels as I wanna be because I just want more options to watch. And I feel like I always have a hard time finding YouTube channels that I love. So the person that I've watched a couple videos on the past few days is Sean Anderson. He is, a great medical student. I've seen his videos before. So I'm probably gonna watch another one really quickly. I also just took a shower to refresh myself. And then I'm gonna get back into my last two lectures to review, which are on pleural disease and pulmonary infections. The pleural disease one is really long, but I don't think it'll be ugly, but the pulmonary infections one with all the bugs is gonna be ugly. So I'm dreading it. And then after that, case studies, and then that'll probably be my whole day because it'll probably be late by then. And then tomorrow we've got practice questions for the entire day and then the exam the next day. So I am going to close the vlog out here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this week in my life, studying from home, a little different than usual. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe please and like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Do you want to say bye? Say bye.